Okay, so let's look here at an example configuration file. Um, so here I've just put everything all in one file. Typically we would break these down, uh, structure this into to several files, okay. Uh, but first slide, uh, this is pretty well sort of the minimum you could have. Um, so a provider section telling us, you know, what provider we're going to use. Okay, so here we're going to create AWS resources. Okay, so the Terraform init will use this to download the AWS provider plugin. And we can also tell it what region we're going to be working in. Terraform has to know uh, what region to create the resources in. Okay. Uh, so region there is an attribute of the uh, provider resource okay then we have a resource type aws instance so a virtual machine an ec2 virtual machine uh, example is just the terraform name we're giving to it okay and then we have a set of attributes uh, probably about the minimum set so telling it the ami so the amazon machine image we're going to use the instance type we want to create and then optionally, we can also uh, create some tags um, on any resource. Okay, so we're providing a tag here, name, Terraform example, and that can be useful uh, when we want to, want to look at AWS resources, where some of our resources we might not have created using Terraform. Okay, now a recommendation would be, you know, if you're going with Terraform, go all in. Uh, nevertheless, it is possible to have non-Terraform resources uh, in your cluster. Okay, so these tags would allow to filter on things that are Terraform related or for a particular project. Um, and also down here, we have a variable definition. So up here, we'd refer to this var.region. Uh, normally, our variables we will put in a separate configuration file. Uh, here, just for the slide, put in the same. So we define region as a variable and we assign it a default value, USS1.